So now we know why reportedly Daniil Hunter was going to show up for Vikings mandatory minicamp. It's because he and the Vikings have reworked his contract. Rap sheet, go. Daniil Hunter, win-win. The Vikings and pass rusher Daniil Hunter have agreed to terms on a reworked deal. Sources say Hunter gets significant money moved up in his contract while Minnesota gets one of its stars to report. A solid conclusion for all sides in an ongoing saga. Daniil Hunter gets $5.6 million of this year's money due as a signing bonus, source said. More importantly, there is now an $18 million roster bonus on the fifth day of the league year in 2022 creating a decision for minnesota he'll either make 20 million or so next year or be released or have a new deal And it was something that I suggested early on in the process. Daniil did have three years left on his contract. A lot of it was toilet paper. There was no guaranteed money left. So just throw it out. Throw out the two back end remaining years. Have him show up this year. Prove that he is healthy. And guess what? If he's good to go, give him top tier Miles Garrett, Joey Bosa type money. And if it's not, walk away. No muss, no fuss. And guess what? If Daniil outperforms that the Vikings are able to pay him, he's able to hit open free agency at 27 years young just off this amazing comeback season maybe he wins comeback player of the year comes back puts up 100 pressures puts up 16 and a half sacks just kidding 23 and a half sacks 17 game season and then whoo everybody wins the big sticking point in Daniil's contract is well yes he signed too long for too little and there's too many toilet paper years on the back end so now the Vikings and Daniil they came to a compromise and, and that's what happened where uh, the two sides were just sort of you know, ignoring the pink elephant in the room that Daniil's contract was garbage and the neck was a big complicating factor, but the Vikings in good conscience give him a long-term extension coming off of a herniated disc in his neck. He needed to show up. He needed to get medical checks. He needed to practice. He needed to have the neck checked after practice, full contact drills. And if everything was good to go, maybe they'll work something out long-term, but this is the best of both worlds where Daniil gets the bird in the hand. He gets a little bit of guaranteed money this year. Uh, gets a little bit of a pay bump as well with that new signing bonus. And the next year, the Vikings have that major decision on the fifth day of the new league year with that $18 million roster bonus. So it's either S or get off the pot. It's either, hey, we're going to extend you long term or we're going to have to cut you. And then you can hit open free agency and ah, cash in on all the money. And I'm excited, man. Uh, Daniil. I have high hopes about the neck. Hopefully he recovers 100%. He's the youngest player ever to 50 sacks. Uh, he is an absolute force in 2019. If his stats would have been uh, measured up against 2020, that he would have been up there among league leaders. And he is the force of nature. And the Vikings do have a nice suite of young up-and-coming pass rushers, but they are not in Daniil Hunter's orbit quite yet. And this defense has a chance to be an all-time great one. It all starts up front with number 99, getting consistent pressure on the quarterback, as well as him being selfless and setting the edge against the run. That is big. That is big. So uh, I'm glad that cooler heads prevailed on both sides. Uh, I, I'm glad that this Cold War did not turn hot. It didn't get too uh, adversarial out in the media, but got it done, man. Got it done. Plus, you're going to have Daniil Hunter in a de facto contract year, proving he's healthy, proven he's the best edge rusher in the game, and then he's going to get paid. I don't care. I don't care. Even though this wasn't paid to Neil, this is sort of paid to Neil. Asterisk, but we'll certainly take it. But your thoughts? Vikings and Daniil rework his contract. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support that work. Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.